Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrissy's Wig Room. My name is Chrissy and today I have five styles that I want to show you that are currently for sale in my wig closet. All of these five styles are listed in my eBay store which will be listed down below. If you click on the link and then you go out to my eBay store, um, if you click the little find uh, button, I believe it's in the top left corner, you can put the name, the brand, the brand of the wig and the name of the wig into that find bar and you'll find it pretty easily because I have about 300 items listed. Um, but these five wigs are all listed on the eBay store. I appreciate you tuning in today. If you like these wigs and would like to purchase them for yourself, uh, please go out to my eBay store. They are currently buy it now or best offer. Um, so I do take best offers and I would love to uh, send these wigs to a new home so that they can be enjoyed and loved. Um, so some really good deals here. Uh, this first piece is the Renee of Paris Nolan. It's in the color Coffee Latte. And it's a beautiful straight piece. It is pre-owned. I've worn it approximately uh, seven to eight times. I uh, do really like it, but I'm just more into uh, the curlier styles. That's what I've been wearing a lot of lately. Um, so I'd like to pass this along. This one is currently in my eBay store for $100 or best offer. Everything is always free shipping. Um, so this one will be shipped free in a padded mailer. And uh, it's a beautiful straight style. It's like that straight pressed style that's really, really pretty. Coffee Latte is a gorgeous, gorgeous color by the Renee of Paris line. Um, it's also in the Narika line, and it's just a gorgeous brunette. If you've never experienced Coffee Latte, I think you'll really enjoy it if you like a brunette that has some really gorgeous dimensional tones in it. It is really, really very pretty piece. So it's a regular synthetic fiber. It's not heat friendly. Beautiful piece. And this one is currently $100 or best offer. So feel free to make an offer. All right, so that's the first piece that I have to show you. Um, and then we're gonna go into a couple of other Renee of Paris pieces. Um, so I do have a couple of Renee of Paris pieces that are still in the box. These are brand new with tags. And they're very, 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 very good deal on these. Uh, because they're beautiful pieces that are budget friendly. So this piece is the Renee of Paris uh, Lavish Waves. It's in the color Cosmic Teal. And it is a heat friendly synthetic fiber made by Renee of Paris. Beautiful curls here. And um, so here's the tag. Let me show you the tag. It's Lavish Waves and Cosmic Teal. Um, the cap for Lavish Waves has the bra strap type adjusters right here. You can cinch those in up to a half an inch. I have a petite average circumference of 21 and a half inches and it fits me perfectly cinched in. We have the open wefted sides top and back. And then on the sides you've got the beautiful velvet ear tabs and a middle part, lace front, goes temple to temple. So let me go ahead and put her on for you. This is a beautiful curly piece. Really, really pretty curly style here. There's lots and lots of curls going on with this piece. And this cosmic teal is very interesting. It's like a dark black, almost dark black, but then mixed in you've got um, kind of this teal color that almost looks smoky in certain places. Really, really pretty piece. I am just moving it out of the wig closet because I am looking to get some other wigs and there's several that I really, really want to get that I feel I will get more use out of and wear on a daily basis. This one is beautifully long. Really, really lavish waves really, really sets the tone perfectly for the style because it really does have a beautiful curl pattern. And this is a beautiful color. If you like the dark, rich brunettes, but you just want a little bit of depth and dimension, this cosmic teal is really, really, really pretty. So this is a really good deal as well. I have this listed for $115 free shipping in the box included, or you can make a best offer. So feel free to make a best offer. This is budget friendly fabulousness. And I think that it's a very, very good piece for the price point. You're getting a lot of hair, a lot of curls, really, really beautiful style. So 
So this is called Lavish Waves by Renee of Paris. All right, so this one is in the color Cosmic Teal. This one's Cosmic Teal. I have another Renee of Paris uh, Lavish Waves in the color Marble Brown that I'm also selling. And it is going to have the same cap construction as the other one because this one's also a Lavish Waves. So if you like a lighter brunette with some highlights around the face, I think you'd love this color. Marble Brown's beautiful. So this is Marble Brown by Renee of Paris in the Lavish Waves style. And it's very, very pretty if you like kind of a lighter brunette. Has some gorgeous face framing highlights right around the face here. Really, really pretty piece. From the nape down, it's about 18 to 19 inches in length. Very beautiful, it feels very lightweight on. So if you've ever wanted to try a Lavish Waves piece, I also have this one for sale. This one's also $115 or best offer. And it ships free with the box. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Hope everybody's doing well. We have had a heat streak here lately. It's been like, I think we, we reached our highest temperature sometime last week. It was like 109 degrees, which is really hot. Um, we always get really hot here in the Midwest, here in Kansas um, in the summertime, but this year, especially here in August, it's been extremely hot. And all of last week, it was like 107, 108 every day. And with my health issues and my diabetes, I was just basically having to stay under the air conditioner all the time to deal with the heat. Um, today was really nice. It cooled down to like 89, so that felt like a giant cool down, but then it's supposed to go back up in the hundreds. So it's kind of unusual since we're getting so close to September that it is still that hot. So needless to say, the grass has been turning brown and all that fun stuff. So yeah, this is a beautiful piece. Very, very beautiful piece. Lavish Waves, I think, is a great name for this one. All right, and then I have a couple of Beltress styles for sale that I wanted to show you. I always feel like I, I get them sold quicker once I show them to you and you can actually see them on. I think that really, really helps. Um, so this next piece is going to be Beltress's Maxwella 18. And it is in the color Cappuccino with Cherry. This is a beautiful color. I absolutely love this rich dark brunette. Unfortunately, Beltress is discontinuing this color. Um, so you've probably heard a lot of the wig retailers have been talking about this color being discontinued. So if you want to get your hands on a piece, this is the Beltress Maxwella 18. It's in the Cappuccino with Cherry color that's being discontinued. I do have this piece. It is for sale. Please make an offer. A uh, beautiful wig here. We've got the um, strap adjusters, open wefted sides and top. We've got beautiful ear tabs, and then you've got a full mono top. So that means you can part this in any direction. And it will look beautiful on. So this is 18 inches. And it's just a really, really nice wavy piece. A really great length because it's not too long, it's not too short. So you've got a really great length going on here. Really beautiful piece. Has some waves. There's just so many other wigs that I want to get right now and I'm struggling because I don't have the funds to get them. So I'm trying to pass on the ones that I'm just not wearing. And the way I see it is if I'm not reaching for them, if I'm not wearing them, um, then I like to pass that along. To somebody that will wear it so I can get me something else that I'm going to wear on a daily basis. I work in an office six days a week. I have to wear a wig on a daily basis um, because of that and have to look professional at all times. And so with my short bio hair, it's not like I can ever just walk out the door with my bio hair on. And so, you know, it's very imperative that I wear a wig 
every single day. I don't feel comfortable unless I have a wig on. Um, so this is a, just a very, very pretty piece. It's Maxwell 18, has a really beautiful deconstructed wave pattern. Feels very lightweight on. It feels really, really good. Um, just such a perfect length because it's not too long sitting right there at 18, but it's also not too short. I think it's a great length. So this is Maxwell 18. And it's in the color Cappuccino with Terry. And there's just ever so subtle pieces of the the cherry in there. You can't really see it inside, um, but in, in daylight you can see those are very, very subtle pieces. I really like that color though. I think it's a beautiful rich brunette. I'm sad to see it go, um, but I do hope that they come out with some more, some more brunettes because I feel like brunettes are really something that's lacking. Um, we have lots and lots of blonde options, but I just feel like we don't have a whole lot of uh, brunette options. So I was happy to hear that they're coming out with a lot more colors this fall, and I hope that we see some colors that uh, that those of us that wear brunettes um, really like and enjoy. Okay, so this last piece here is the Beltrass Nitro 22. It is in the color Ginger. Uh, we also have the same strap adjusters, open wefted sides and back, beautiful soft ear tabs, and then it has a left mono part and a temple to temple lace front. This is a beautiful style. I bought this in two more colors. Um, I bought this one in English toffee and cappuccino with cherry. So I am letting it go. I love this curl pattern. It's absolutely stunning. I've been looking for a curl pattern like this. I've been seeing this kind of curl pattern, similar curl pattern on a lot of human hair wigs, which Unfortunately, as much as I would love to um, have one, I just don't have the funds. Makes me sad. Um, but yes, uh, this is a curl pattern that's very, that we're seeing a lot, I think, on human hair wigs. And that's one thing that bothers me. I'm not sure why we can't have similar curl patterns that we're seeing on human hair wigs and synthetics. I don't know if manufacturers just don't see it as something that's needed. Uh, but you would think that they could recreate the same curl pattern because I'm seeing this really beautiful curl pattern on a lot of human hair wigs, but I'm seeing nothing like it when you see new releases coming out in synthetic wigs. A lot of the new releases that I've been seeing lately I'm not happy with. I'm not even excited about, I'll be honest. It just It's just not exciting me. I want to see more like this and more like brunette balayage colors and things like that. Some really unique colors would be awesome. Um, but just nothing that's been coming out lately has been wowing me. So I'm actually going back to some older pieces uh, to get some older pieces. I'm wanting to get a Renee of Paris Sage. I'm wanting to get a John Renault Bryce. I'm just wanting to go back to some of the older things that I just feel are better. I don't know. I'm hoping that as time goes on, maybe when we get more towards the end of the year, we'll see some more exciting pieces coming out. But I love curl patterns like this. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's just, it's real curly through here and then it's straight at the ends and it's really, really a pretty piece. So I hope we see more links like this. This is a 22 inch wig. It's beautiful. Um, like I said, I did purchase this in the English toffee and the cappuccino with cherry because I really, really like this curl pattern. But it's just a really beautiful curl pattern. It's really bouncy, beautiful style. Um, I hope that one of you will enjoy it and love it. So if you're interested in it, just go on out to my eBay store and either purchase it, it's a buy it now, or you can make a best offer on it and I can pass those savings along to you. I hope that all of you are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in today uh, for this show and sell of five wigs that I currently have for sale in my wig closet. Um, I just like to get the video out there to you guys so you can see it on. I know that it's kind of hard, especially if you've never seen it before. Uh, to make that decision. I know that I get a lot of watchers, um, you know, that are watching the pieces in my eBay store. So I just really appreciate your support. It helps me to continue um, in my in my journey with my health condition being the way it is and the constant struggles that I have with, you know, my health, my weight, um, just everything that I have to do to try to keep everything in check with my health. 
the thing that really makes me happy and brings me joy is getting hair mail. And it's so hard to do that when you don't have the finances to do that. It gets very, very sad, sad. It's just a very sad thing. Um, I see so many people, you know, just being able to buy whatever they want, get whatever they want. And I'm at a point where I can't do that anymore. And it gets very, 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 very frustrating because I used to be able to just throw the wigs on a credit card. Well, that can't happen anymore. I don't, I, unfortunately, in the start of my wig journey, I maxed a lot of my credit cards out, most all of them, because I wanted a bunch of wigs, but I made a lot of mistakes early on in the wig journey. I bought thousands of dollars worth of blonde wigs and found out that I, I'm not comfortable wearing blonde wigs on a daily basis. I had a lot of fun with them. You know, it was fun, but I ended up selling them all. And when I sold them all, of course, I sold them at a loss, a huge loss, usually more than 50% loss. So I'm still paying on wigs that I don't even have. Um, they're still on credit cards. So I'm now in a debt relief program um, on my way out of that because that's what I'm sure, I'm sure many of you can relate. That's what a lot of us did. I mean, back in 2019, I, ha I was like everybody else. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what I really liked in the wig journey. And so like everybody else, I made a bunch of mistakes. And the biggest mistake that I made is I put all this hair on a credit card, multiple credit cards, and I was getting everything I wanted, but I was, it wasn't really what I wanted because what I found out in the past year, year and a half, is that I am most comfortable in brunette. And that's my roots. I've always been a brunette. I was a blonde very, very early on as a little child, uh, but that quickly turned dark. Um, as I reached puberty and so I'm just partial to brunette. So, you know, so now if I could go back to 2019 and start the whole wig journey over and I knew exactly what I was doing at that time, I would still have funds available to continue to buy the ones I want. But it's just now I'm lucky if I get a new one once a month. That's how that's how that's how financially trapped I got myself and half most of the debt. I mean, I'd say at least half of the debt is all wig related. And that's that's where wigs can become kind of stressful at times, because at this point in the hair journey, we have to have them because we have hair loss that's so dramatic. Like my hair is so short and it's so thin and it's so patchy that I can't I could can never go out in public and feel comfortable. I would literally feel so ugly like a butch out in public if I didn't have a wig on. So I'm at a point in my journey where I can't, I have to wear wigs, but as we know, synthetics only last so long and then we have to purchase new ones. And that's why I really, uh, really would love to be able to get into the human hair um, side of things. I'm hoping that maybe in time I will be able to because I'm seriously wanting to figure out if the cost, the expensive cost of them is actually worth the difference, like I hear so many mixed, so many mixed things. Some people say they're way too much work. Other people say that they're no more work than owning a synthetic wig and that because it is human hair, it will last, you know, up to a year. Some people say even longer than a year with proper care. So that's what I'm really trying to figure out. And that's what I'm really wanting to find out because, you know, if that's the case, then it may be worth owning like a couple of human hair wigs and just going back and forth between that. But then I also like having the synthetics and the different colors. And with synthetics, you always get the vibrant colors and that too. So it's like, I, I would love to have the best of both worlds, but I'm not rich. Um, I don't have a rich husband, none of that. So, you know, I just have to deal with what I have to deal with. But it is very hard as I'm sure it is for many of you um, that are on social media when there's new wigs coming out all the time and you just wish that you could have them all and you can't. And so, you know, it does, at times it gets a little bit jealous that some people seem to be able to afford everything that comes out or, you know, or they just get everything sent to them, um, you know, so they, they have those opportunities where I have to struggle. I work, you know, all the time and I have to pick and choose, you know, what's the next wig that I'm going to purchase. And then I have to wait a whole nother month and see all these social media posts of all these beautiful hairstyles that I can only dream of having. So it's just a real challenge. Like I said, I think if I could go back to 2019 and start over, I would definitely do things different. I'm sure most of us would. It is so hard when we start the wig journey because there are so many options, as I've, as I've said in the past, for those of you that have followed me for a long time, 
there are so many wig options and that's phenomenal. I'm so thankful that our wig community has came this far and that we have so many different options, but it gets so confusing to the new wig wearer because with all those hundreds of options, you don't know how to narrow it down. And so you end up buying all of these and then having to sell them. And then, you know, it just gets really, really, it can be really, really confusing. And it can, and I never thought I would get to the point where I started feeling, you know, that way that I did. It took like four years that it just really got to a point where it's like, you're looking back and you're like, how did I get this much in debt? And we're talking over 50,000 and we're like, how did this happen? And it's just wigs. I mean, not every single bit of it is. A lot of it was also from my mother passing away and things having to be put on credit cards. And then of course my husband passing away, things having to be put on credit cards because the funds just aren't there. Um, so there was all that in there too, but a, but a big, a big, huge portion of it was just wigs. And then you're looking back and you're like, wow, I'm still paying interest from on wigs from like four years ago because I could never pay them off. And back when I first started wearing wigs, we didn't have the shop pay. We didn't have the affirm. We didn't have, you know, after pay. We didn't, those, those options to pay in for interest free was not available. And I wish it would have been because now that's all I use. Since I don't have credit cards, I can't use those anymore. That's all I use. And if the funds aren't there, I can't use it. But it just, I, those are the things that, you know, that's how far technology has came just in four years. We have those options now that we didn't have when I started all of this. And so I got myself into a big mess. It's very, very, very expensive to review wigs, especially if you're not being sent the wigs to review. It's very expensive to try to do it on your own. It's just very, very expensive. I've spent a lot and I'm glad that I've been able to educate a lot of people. I'm thankful that I've been able to help a lot of people because it is very confusing. And I know that my reviews have helped a lot of people and for that I'm thankful um, because that's really, really all I have. Like I said, if you knew the cost uh, behind it all, it's extremely expensive. And now I'm in a debt relief program and I'm supposed to be out of all of this mess in four years. Um, and I'm praying that that works because it got to a point where I just can keep paying $2,800 a month in minimum payments. It just isn't going to happen. Um, and then there's nothing left. You pay all of that and there's nothing left. You have nothing left. You're working and working and working, but you're, you're just paying on something that you, the credit card, there's no limits available. So you're paying all these minimum payments on cards that have no, credit available and after all that's paid there's nothing left for yourself and so that's where i got to a point where i decided i had to check um check into a debt relief program because you know there's just nothing left there's nothing left and you know it's frustrating when you want to do something for yourself and like i said i think especially for hair loss it's so so emotional for us as women because we have to go out in public and we can't go out in public looking like this. I mean, you can see how thin my hair has gotten and it doesn't even, this is like the most it'll grow. You can see how thin it is on top. There's spots in the back. Can't, I can't go out. I can't go to, I can't go out looking like this. I can't do it. So thankfully we have wigs. Um, but this one is a really good deal and I will take less on it. Um, like I said, the only reason I'm selling this one because I absolutely love this curl pattern is because I do have two others and I like to pass the savings on to you guys. So I appreciate you watching. I'm sorry this video is so long. I hope to get back into wig reviews. Like I said, I have not been able to purchase as many wigs as I would like anymore. Um, so I, I'm trying to build up some more so that I can go back into reviews because I really do love making the reviews and sharing. And I know it, I've heard so much feedback from some of you that say that it really helps uh, when you go to, to make that purchase decision, when you can refer back uh, to one of my videos, especially one of my videos where I show the same style in different colors. You guys really, really like that. So I appreciate that. And I'm glad that it's helpful. I know that it helps all of us to um, show these styles because we all have different face shapes. And that's what I'm saying. If anybody is ever thinking about doing reviews, just jump in there and do a review because there's always a spot for you out there on YouTube. Um, I know I struggled with that for a long time thinking, you know, well, there's so many people reviewing, you know, where's the spot for me? Um, but the reason I do keep and want to keep doing is because there's not a lot of like brunette 
reviews. So it's really helpful to, um, to have those reviews because I know there's many times where I'll go online and I'll, I'll want to look at a wig like the Envy Maya, for example. I was really trying to find the Envy Maya in a brunette color. And I found a couple of, you know, short videos, like 30 second videos from the wig manufacturer from Envy showing it, but I couldn't find any, anybody that's reviewed Envy Maya. There was a lot of blonde reviews, but there's like hardly no brunettes. So for those of us that are brunette lovers and we wear these on a daily basis, it really helps to have those reviews. And that's one of the things where I feel like, okay, that's my niche. I can continue doing brunette reviews because that's something that is lacking in the wig video world. So I know I've talked a lot. I just wanted to share my heart with you guys and catch up. And again, I hope you are having a beautiful weekend and I will see you all very soon in the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future reviews. I also have a Facebook and Instagram down below in the description box. If you'd like to um, follow along, see what I post, I would love to have you there. So again, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon. Have a good day. Bye.